Hi everyone. Today I am going to explain about gait pattern analysis and how it analyzes. When a person while walking or running make a series of footprints or impression, it is called gait pattern or walking picture. It is possible to deduce some of the characteristics of the owner's manner of walking. Walking pattern is found to be highly individualistic. It may therefore be of great value to study them. Gait is a biological characteristic of a person and the gait pattern is simply the manner of style in which a person usually walks. It is highly influenced by many factors. Walking is often not, not a conscious uh, behavior and can be used for differentiation if not for identification. So here I am going to explain about uh, the diagrammatic uh, representation of gait pattern analysis. Uh, here are some parameters to explain uh, the gait pattern and that are direction line, foot line, foot angle, gait line, principal angle, step length, step width and uh, first we, uh, we should uh, identify uh, the gait pattern, um, the footprints and uh, we should draw the foot line at first. So the foot line, this is a straight line running through the longitudinal axis of the footprint. Uh, it is a line which passes through the second toe to the center of hip. Uh, it is simply a line of reference in that foot itself and its inclination to the direction line shows the angle at which each foot is put down. And uh, thus uh, we have a query that uh, the center of heel we should identify by using uh, the method by drawing two perpendicular and parallel lines in between uh, the foot uh, to draw a, connect a connecting line uh, and to identify the center of that line is the center of heel uh, in the foot line uh, drawing and uh, we can draw uh, the line from the center of heel to the toe, second toe of the foot after drawing foot line uh, we have to do we have to draw step width step width this is the distance between the parallels drawn in the direction of la direction of the direction line touching the inner side of the right and left foot uh, and foot angle is the angle between the foot line and the direction line is known as the foot angle it can be highly characteristic and uh, doesn't change much, much except when the subject stands still runs walks up and down or carries heavy load uh, the foot ankle of a man is often larger than that of a woman uh, the normal foot angle is 30 to 32 degree uh, it, it may vary uh, with different uh, different individuals and may also be different uh, for the left and right foot uh, of the same individual. So next we are going to talk about the gait line. A normal person walks the gait line, concedes with the direction line and runs along the inner sides of both heel prints. However, it is often irregular varying with each step because of the manner of putting down the foot. It may be zigzag due to the pattern proceeding with the legs wide apart. It is more broken in stout person uh, persons and in pregnant women because they walk with their feet wide apart to main, maintain equilibrium. Broken walk, walking line is suggestive of sluggish person, pregnant woman, drunk, drunkards and person carrying booty or load on their backs. So next we are up to the principal angle. This is the angle between the foot line of the two feet and is this the sum of the two foot angles uh, the principal angle will vary depending on the deformities in the left or right foot okay. and we are going to the direction line direction line uh, is the line uh, it is an imaginary line uh, which indicates the direction in the in which the person is walking or moving it is a straight line and uh, the direction line 
situated in the center of uh, left and right uh, foot uh, and which passes through the step width cent uh, the center of step width then our final parameter is step length uh, this is the distance between the centers of two successive heel prints. It depends on the size of walker, his habits and his speed. Generally, a tall person takes longer steps than a short one, walking at the same speed. Persons with hernia or pelvis disorders often take steps uh, which are very short in proportions to the length of their legs. Some railway walkers, on contrary, may be accustomed to, talk, to taking exceptionally long steps because of walking on rail, uh, railway tracks. Uh, the step length varies from 20 to uh, 40 inches. Uh, it, it is uh, said that 27 inches uh, is the average for slow walking and 35 inches for fast walking. Uh, persons running take step length uh, over 40 inches. A changing step length uh, in the same walking picture is, is an indication that the person is limping. Uh, the normal leg takes a longer step than the shorter one. Now we are going to perform practical representation of gait pattern analysis. Here we are showing gait pattern as well as footprints by using ink stain. After fully dipping the foot in the ink stain, make a person walk in his usual or normal walking style. Make sure that it is his usual walking pattern. We take four consecutive footprints for the analysis of gait pattern. For the analysis, the required materials are measuring tape, measuring scale and marker. Firstly, the foot and the parameters of uh, the gait pattern are measured by using measuring tape. After measuring the foot uh, parameters as well as the consecutive lines in the gait pattern are marked by using marker. Here we are marking uh, the parameters and make sure the footprints not being destroyed. The parameters are marked and measured in the visible gait pattern for its analysis. The parameters are used for finding uh, the direction of walking, age, illness or physical disability, conscious or unconscious, movement of a uh, person, uh, that is whether he is running or walking. 